Hey everyone, I'm Keith at 2-Bit Woodworks and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to be upgrading the cutter head on my planer from straight knives to a helical head. Let's get to it. This is my DeWalt WD735 planer and it came with a 3-knife cutter head. I've always had a problem with the straight knife setup, mostly because if you get a nick in one of the knives, you either have to hone it out or change out the entire knife. The cutter head I'm upgrading to is the LuxCut 3 helical head from MyWoodCutters.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. This cutter head has a total of 40 carbide inserts, and each insert has four cutting edges, so if one gets damaged or dull, you can unscrew it, rotate it 90 degrees, for a new sharp cutting edge and you're back in business. Let's do it. Remove all the screws from the container that the cutter head was shipped in. Then remove the protective cardboard and foam sheet. Unwrap the cutter head from the plastic and then wipe it down to remove any leftover oil. Using the hex wrench supplied, remove the four screws and then take the top cover off. Remove the three red thumb screws. Then remove the inside dust cover. In order to remove the blades from the cutter head, Undo all of the screws from the clamp bar. The cutter rotate lock plate can be removed after you unscrew the two Phillips head screws holding it in place. Be sure to catch the spring that is attached underneath the bracket. Remove the height adjustment handle. To expose the feed chain and pulley, remove the four screws holding on the cover. Unhook the tension spring, and then remove the screws on the end of the each shaft. Remove the chain and sprockets as one unit. Rotate the belt by pulling it toward you until it rolls off the pulley. Loosen the nut that is holding on the pulley. Then slide the pulley off the shaft. Using a pair of pliers, remove the snap ring from inside the bearing housing. Next, you will remove the four screws and cover from the opposite side of the planer. Remove the two snap rings from each of the two shafts. Then disconnect the spring from the tensioner. Slowly slide the chain and sprockets off as one unit. Unscrew the three socket head screws that hold the gearbox in place. Slowly pull the gearbox out, but make sure you don't disconnect it all the way from the planer. There is another snap ring that will need to be removed inside the bearing housing. Then using a piece of hardwood, tap the head out. Take the helical head and screw it onto the new Lux cut head. You will need to remove all the carbide inserts in order to insert the new cutter head through the bearing housing. Carefully tap the head into place making sure the bearings are fully seated in the housings. Reinsert the snap ring over the helical gear side. Then secure the gearbox using the three socket head screws. Slide the washer back onto the right shaft and reinstall the chain and sprockets. Next, you'll want to hook the spring back onto the tensioner. Then using the pliers, secure the snap rings onto each of the two shafts. Reattach the cover using the four screws. And then reinstall the snap ring on the pulley side of the cover head. Slide the washer key and pulley onto the shaft and tighten down the nut. 
slowly run the poly V-belt over the pulley and ensure that it is seated correctly on the top and bottom pulley. Screw the tensioner back onto the mount. Slide the sprocket and chain assembly onto the two shafts. And secure it with the washers and hex head screws. Rehook the spring onto the tensioner. Reattach the cover. Then reinstall the height adjustment handle. Carefully install all of the carbide inserts back onto the cutter head. Attach the inside dust cover and tighten it down with the three red thumb screws. Put the top back on the planer and secure it in place with the four screws. I ran a test of the planer using a piece of 8 quarter sapili and it came out perfectly smooth. Well, that wraps it up for this tool upgrade. Uh, this took about an hour to complete, and upgrading your cutter head can be pretty pricey depending on the kind of planer you have. This LuxCut 3 head costs almost as much as the planer, but the benefits definitely outweigh the cost of the upgrade. There's three major things that you're going to see when you upgrade from straight knives to a helical head. The first is an increase in blade life. The carbide inserts can last a very long time, especially if you aren't milling up wood on a daily basis. Next, there's a noticeable decrease in operating noise. I didn't test the before and after decibel readings like I did when I upgraded my joiner, but you can really notice the difference. And finally, the most important benefit of upgrading to a helical head is the improved quality of cut. Now, you'll notice that the surface is so much smoother and there's barely any tear out or snipe on the boards, which cuts down on the sanding needed during finishing, and come on, who doesn't want to sand less? Guys, Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, head on over to my website, 2bitwoodworks.com, and pick up a set of plans, or go check out my Patreon page, which is linked below. If you have any questions on this tool upgrade or comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, click that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and make sure to click that bell. That way you get notified when I put out a new video. If you want to see what I'm working on in between projects, then head on over and follow me on Instagram at 2-Bit Woodworks. As always, thanks for stopping by. Come back soon and take care.